Hello, it's Tracy from Cowbridge Library here. I'm going to show you how to make some quick and easy Christmas decorations. Okay, for this activity, you're going to need three pieces of card, one white, one red, and one green, a pair of scissors, some Pritt stick, lots of little jewels or sequins uh, to attach or something to decorate. You could actually use coloured pens if you wished instead of putting on these sort of decorations and you're going to need a stapler. If you're not quite sure how to use a stapler, perhaps if you ask an adult to give you a hand. So with a pair of scissors, you need to cut the A4 paper, uh, card, sorry, lengthways from the top to the bottom and you need to cut it into five strips. Once you've actually got the five slip strips together, so they'll all be about this size, you can start to decorate them. So you've got your long lengths like that, and then each time you can decorate them, attaching jewels or um, little stickers of some sort, or if you have a hole punch, you could actually put holes in them as well. Okay, once you've done this, you need to cut them to length. So you're going to require two long ones, two medium sized ones, and two shorter ones. So I'll show you what that looks like when it's done. So you end up with two very long ones together, a short one, and two medium ones. The next part is to actually assemble the craft. So if you take a long one and a medium strand and then the short strand, then you want the medium one again and a long one. Now at this point, you can shape the ends. I'll show you how to do that. With a pair of scissors, you just need to snip the ends to make a triangular shape or a pointy part, okay? And this point is where you pop the staple. At the bottom, you do exactly the same but this time you need to gather them together so that the, all the flat ends are together and then do the shape. So that's what you have, like that. And then shape them again. And with the middle ones, if you just the middle ones if you just move them in slightly you will get the shape that you're after oops a daisy let's just put that one back down there so that's the shape that you're looking for when you've got them all together and you're happy with it you need to pop another staple in the bottom there now We'll hold it all in place. So this is the shape that you end up with. The little bit at the bottom here that is excess, you can shape down into a point. And there you have your first decoration. So it's easier to actually apply all of these um, little sparkles and things before you assemble it. And that can be, you can decorate it to your own taste. Um, I'm sure if you find some buttons or something like that, um, or if you've got a hole punch, punch some holes in it. Um, all that you need to do then is at the top end, attach a piece of ribbon and you can hang it up in a window and these are quite effective if you've got several different colours, which is why you've gone for red, green and, and uh, white. Um, 
but you could do all sorts of pastel colours together and all sorts of coordinating colours. They look quite effective when the light captures them behind there. Decorating them as you wish. Um, lots of different stickers that you can put on. These are just the pieces that I've cut out of the uh, this part here. But again, you could put bits of silver foil or sweet wrappers that you've used. You could just put some glue on and pop them on. Okay, I'll show you what they all look like in a moment when I finish the other ones. So when you've finished assembling them all, you end up, and they can be varying sizes, you don't have to make them all the same size. Um, you end up with a, um, a small display and if you put about six of these in a window at all, different heights, um, dangling down at different heights, they can look really, really effective. And it's quite a cheap and quick um, craft to make. I hope you've enjoyed this craft. If you want any more ideas, uh, there's going to be a few uh, craft ac activities that are going to be put on YouTube for you from Cowbridge Library. And um, if you do want any craft books, for some inspiration. We've got plenty in the library. Just go on to the Vale of the Morgan website and you can actually down uh, um, request uh, them to be delivered to this library if they're in a different branch or we can find them on our shelves for you. Hope you've enjoyed this craft and look forward to our next session. Bye bye.